Hey everyone and welcome to our channel. In this video, we'll be your guide as we walk you through the process of creating a stunning hero section post slider and eye-catching category carousels step by step. So stick around to see how it's done. Alright, this is the website that we'll be putting our hero section post slider and category sliders in. Let's start. In WordPress dashboard, head to the picture and choose the post slider category. We're going to choose a post slider template. This one looks nice. Let's import it. The fields that you see in the slider are being taken directly from this dynamic data source. As you can see, we have the title, the content, the featured image of the posts, and so on. We're going to customize the slider's appearance like the fonts, the element size, and the corners that are made round to match the look of our website. Search for food background in stuck photos. This one looks nice. We're replacing it with this image in the back to match our website even better. Rename your slider and publish it. Alright, click on Edit with Elementor in your website. Here, we're removing these widgets to replace them with the depictor widget and select the hero section post slider that we just created. Let's update it and see the result. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content like this. It looks pretty awesome, right? Okay, moving on, these sections downward are all going to be replaced with category carousels. Let's make that happen. As you can see, these are all our posts with each post having a category of its own. And these are our three main categories. We want to create a carousel slider for each one of these categories. Let's go! In the picture dashboard, choose the post sliders category. We're looking for a carousel post slider template. This one looks classy. Let's import it. Just like with the hero section that we created together earlier, we're customizing this carousel's appearance to match the look of our website. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content like this. Now, here's the tricky part. From the data source settings, Choose one of the categories that you like. We're also setting the number of posts that are going to be shown to 10. Change the carousel's title to match the name of your category. Rename your slider and publish it. Now, after we finished making the first one, we're going back to the picture dashboard to duplicate it twice. Because, remember, we had three categories and we want three carousel post sliders. Once duplicated, we're going to change the category in the data source settings. Change the titles and the sliders names for each one of the carousels. We're done. Let's add the widgets to our homepage. In the Elementor editor, we're scrolling down to delete the sections in the button to replace them with the carousels that we just created together. 
We're adding the depictor widget and we're giving it a margin here. Once done, duplicate it twice. We're selecting the category carousels that we just created, starting with food recipes, health, and animal rights. Let's update our changes to see the new look of our website. This is the hero section that we first created, which looks fascinating on the top. Let's see the carousels together. They look so nice on our website. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like this video and let us know in the comments if you have any questions or any suggestions. Ciao!